So, different period. Which is the shorter period? The blue one? Blue one takes less time to go through one complete oscillation. Shorter period. If we go back to this equation we got, so this came from, here's, here's our torque equation for, the, for one of these hoops that can oscillate. And we found out that this derivative here had a constant as a function and was proportional to the negative of theta with this constant g over 2r sitting there. That constant g over 2r, remember when you take the der two derivatives, you end up with two of those values. So you end up, when you take two derivatives, you end up with this thing right here, 2 pi over t squared. And so 2 pi over t squared is g over 2r, which means 2 pi over t is the square root of g over 2r. t is the period. Let me write this just for the hoop. I'm going to flip it over. T, t over 2 pi is the square root of 2r over g. That's for a hoop. Blue one had the shorter period. What does that tell you about r? The radius of the hoop. T over 2 pi, the period over 2 pi is 2 pi r over g. Is it possible for g to change? No, not unless the surf, not unless the Earth changes in some way. The gravi G is a gravitational field of the Earth at the surface of the Earth. Uh, there would be a different gravitational field on the Moon, but uh, that's not where we are. So the way to get G T, the period to be shorter, like that blue one is shorter, is to pick a smaller R. I'm going to go a lot smaller, so it's obvious. The period is the time it takes for one complete oscillation. A different oscillator, and in this case all I have to do is make R different, is going to not take as much time for one complete oscillation. So I think that you can see that, that this one goes back and forth, a full oscillation in less time than this one. If the radius is maybe a third as much than the square root of 3, the period ought to be, of this one ought to be about, well, less than twice as long. Square root of 3 times as long. So the period depends on the physical system that you have. I can't change the period right now. If I push it not quite as far, I can change the amplitude. But I have nothing to say about the period. It's going to take as long as it takes to go through one complete oscillation. The period depends on the material. Depends on the size of things. For this, it would depend on the spring constant also. A really stiff spring would oscillate quickly. We'll have a short period. Whereas a really floppy spring will have a longer period. It's just a question of where the periods come from. So, another, pick, another question. The blue and the black. It's obvious that the hoop for the blue data set has what? What is obvious there? 